So here we see now the Acaris variant visual that allows you to display budget variances. You can see when I move the mouse pointer there, it automatically shows me all the variance drivers. It's a small multiples display where I can also drill down. So I can drill down, for example, for a particular company and see the detailed revenue accounts. And I can immediately do my planning. So for example, adjust the other income forecast, save it, and see immediately the results of this change. I can then drill up again to the higher level and immediately see the small multiples of all my companies and the adjusted um, budgets that I've just entered. When I click on a object here, a company, I can see immediately what are the KPIs for this particular company. The same works for the sales results. So as I move the mouse pointer to a particular salesperson, I can see again where's the variance coming from for their budget. And from here also then go to all the other planning areas. For example, the simple matrix data entry where I can start by creating a new scenario, an adjusted forecast. Save this and go back to my planning form. The next step is now to populate the new scenarios. I can go to the it carries copy visual, select the model that I want to use. In this case, it's finance. And then just copy the data from the actuals to the new adjusted forecast scenario. And I only want to do this for a particular year. So I set another condition here for the year from the 2020 to 2020, I want to stay in the same year and then just copy this. And then I just go back to the data entry report. So here I have now populated the scenario and now I can start entering my values. So for example, change this on a detail account to 3000, I can immediately see what does this mean on the total. And I have now a variety of options. So I can, for example, change details on the top level that automatically distributed to the lower levels. So if I drill down now to the lower levels, you can immediately see what the implications are. So I see here now the detailed results on the scenarios that was distributed from this top-down change. I can adjust this with one of the special functions to distribute right. So I can automatically distribute uh, an entry to the right for the entire period. I also have the option to view a detailed history of all changes. So if I drill through to the edit history, I can see now all changes for this particular coordinate. Who changed it from what to what value and how long this value was um, valid. I see the value that I've just changed and I can go back to the report. Um, also enter comments. So can comment here that I've made this adjustment, it's then saved to this particular cell. And in an Excel style fashion, I will then immediately see a little marker that there's a comment here for this value now. If I hover over this, I can see the comment. And I can then finalize the workflow by changing the status here. For example, setting this to approved. This could kick off other things, like for example, emails to my supervisors. And I can see immediately what the new status is, where I am in this workflow. The next area that I would like to cover is driver-based planning, where you can set up drivers exactly as you need them. For example, quantity, KPIs, tariffs, exchange rates. And then you can do your planning directly on the chart. So for example, um, dragging and dropping on these data points, you can immediately see what are the effects of this change. I can. Uh, change other KPIs again by dragging and dropping. For example, here the exchange rate. And then if I refresh, immediately I see the results. Shows the power of the Actaris engine that literally everything happens in seconds. I have then the special options to change prices, for example, here on a table. Using one of the great special entry options, like for example, fill to the right, where I can enter a particular value and specify that I want to continue this value until the end of the period. So we see now this is getting written back. 
Um, when I refresh the view, I can immediately see what effects does this price change have. So I can see this has driven my total sales to 20.1 million. And I can also now add unstructured comments again using even formatting options and links about this particular simulation. The next area that I would like to show you now is human resource planning. So I'm switching now to a different form that shows all the details of my employees um, in a table. This is a normal SQL Server table. I'm entering the name. I can enter other details like the salaries for this new employee. And then finally, I can set the start date. As you can see, supported by calendar functions where I can easily select this date from a uh, calendar picker. I see immediately now that my headcount has gone up to 96 million. So now that we have some of our planning data, let's have a look at the reporting side of things. And I just quickly wanted to demonstrate uh, you how the Actarius reporting visual works. The Actarius reporting visual provides extensive functionality to create financial reports in the right format as easy as possible. So here you can see an initial layout. We have accounts. We have to drill down from account groups to accounts. We have three columns. We can see IBCS principles here with the underlines that can immediately identify a particular scenario types. In this case, dark actual budget, and we have a variance column here. To edit this now, just go into edit mode. And we can see now the definition of the visual here. We can also see that the visual supports comments. So if there's a comment, they will automatically show in the rows here on the right side. But the interesting side is now the definition of calculation. And to do this, I can now just go here into edit mode. I've got now the report layout here and I can just say now, similar to Excel, I want to add a new calculation here. This is the gross profit. The gross profit calculation is the revenue plus the cost of sales because we've got our cost of sales coming in negatively so we can add them up. So this gives us now the gross profit calculation. If we want to, we can now add to this uh, additional design elements. We see this is here style one. We have now the option here to define the style one exactly as we want to, for example, with a single underline so that this looks a little bit nicer in a particular color. So we see now here we have this underline here that's typically relevant for financial reporting. So let's add another one for the relative gross margin. And that is just the gross margin divided by the revenue. Um, what we don't want here is the format. So we want to change this to percentage. So we now we have this properly in the percent percentage format. Um, so rows, very easily definable, but also you can define your own columns. So if I click here, I want to have a column after. And we make this the relative variance. And this is calculating the absolute variance divided by budget. We see now we have the new calculation here. If we apply the right format, we see this works properly as well. So in a very easy Excel style fashion, the user can create now their own calculations with all the financial reporting format that's typically required. And that is then showing directly on your report with all the functionality. In the final step, you can see now how all this comes together in the cash flow. So all the entries that you've made, financial planning, uh, driver-based HR, but also other aspects like uh, capital expenditure, debt management, and consolidated reports. This concludes this short demonstration. To start your own trial, which really only takes a few minutes, visit our website at thecarries.com.